सो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द पेजेस वन एम्प्लॉय डिटेल्स एंड अदर वन द सर्विसेज सो इन साइड एम्प्लॉय सर्विसेज वी ऑल वी विल हैव द ऑल द फंक्शंस व्हिच विल इंटरेक्ट विद आर स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन टू गेट ऑल द रिक्वेस्ट एंड डेटा एंड इन द एम्प्लॉय we will have we will show the employee details so in the previous video like let me show you so this is my ionic is running here and uh, here uh, the server is running which is the employee api so whenever i made a request i will get the details of the employee and uh, this is the basic application which we have created in ionic okay so so we have employee and uh, we have the services now let me create one uh, class which will uh, like a blueprint of my employee so like uh, this will be a class same as the pojo so this will be employee.model.ts so it is here now and uh, so this will be my employee class in that we will have the employee id employee name and dep name same as the response which we are getting from the spring boot api like employee id employee name and dep name you can see here just the json format now come to the next part like we need to define a function which can be like uh, we need to define all the common function in the service class and from the service we will access it uh, from the any of the class in our ionic uh, uh, directory okay so what we are going to do like uh, we need to define a uh, get all the employee details so uh, we need to uh, provide the first the url on which url we need to hit so we need to hit on this url so this is the common url for the employee and uh, after hitting on that uh, we have defined the variable for that now http client we need to import it from the angular package so just uh, import it so this is the not correct one http client should be http angular so uh, let me define it from here directly import uh, http client comma http response like we have also on the http response from at angular common slash http from in this package we want uh, http client and http response now let's uh, import the observable also it will from the rxjs and employee array of employee just we have define it like it will be in our employee then employee model so we have defined our service method which will uh, interact with the spring boot and give me the list uh, array of the employee which i have defined here okay so we'll see the uh, we'll see the how to fetch the details in employee details dot page dot ts file so now before going further we need to define the route uh, like a root page like uh, whenever i click on the home i will uh, directly route to my employee details so how we are going to do this we need to go inside the app routing model.ts file and inside that uh, we need to check the home and at the place of the home we need to provide our employee details model now how to do that one just replace it so Uh, we need to go inside the employee 
and you need to press the control space for the suggestion employee then slash employee details and inside that uh, we have employee details dot module so like this and uh, in that one we need to call employee details page so like this we need to call now just save it and uh, we will find out our employee details page dot html as the home root and you can see my application is getting compiled so only this title will get print there just uh, go on the browser so you can see my employee details as uh, came first but we don't have any bar here so we need to copy the bar from the home uh, page.html now go inside uh, the visual studio and uh, where is that uh, my home page.html file inside the home directory this one home page.html file and uh, I'm just gonna copy the whole thing and uh, what we need to change we'll change there so we don't want this uh, much list on my page we don't want the card also just remove it and here we can change our title okay so now we will we'll get uh, the that uh, toggle bar here and we can route it from like uh, we can change the navigations also so now you can see the toggle is also added now what we gonna do like uh, the full details of the employee will print here now how to do that one we'll see so just you need to go on the employee like uh, we have created the service uh, inside the service so we have created a method which will get all the employee details from this URL and return me the area of the employee but uh, I need to call this function on my employee details uh, page dot ts file this one so, and uh, on load we can call that function and uh, we will iterate the value on my HTML page so on the employee page details page dot uh, ts file we need to replace we need to write this code so inside that uh, we need to define the array of the employee uh, which will be are the like a uh, pojo class which i have shown you already so it will be from the employee model now employee service the service class which we have just defined here we said that which will have we will have the, all the methods toast controller to show the message on uh, as a notification on my home page okay now we want alert controller also alert uh, alert, uh, alert controller also just import it and uh, we'll see one by one all the features 
nav control also we want in some cases like uh, if i am on the add employee page then how to get the lo how to load the page on the front uh, home page okay so just import each and everything So why we are getting the toast error never assigned just uh, leave it okay so that's all we need to define to load all to get all the details like I have created another function to get all the uh, like load all the employee details and I called in in my on init function so whenever my page get initialized it will call the function load all and it will give me the employee details okay so we need to now do the uh, some coding on the employee details dot page dot html file so so on the employee details page dot html we need to write this much of html thing so the color as the primary key for the toolbar and slot as start we need the ion menu button also for uh, toggle thing and title as employee details then uh, i have added the icons for the add employee and update and delete employee also then uh, like uh, to iterate the ion item one uh, one by one we need to put the ng4 to get the let employee of the employee list that empl list is coming from my employee details page dot ts which i have defined here and uh, in that uh, like after uh, getting it retaining one by one uh, we need to print the emp name and dep name so like this uh, we need to do the, this whole thing so like uh, after saving it before going further we need to add some more details in app model dot ts file so in that we need to uh, add the HTTP client module which will be responsible for HTTP request and response employee service we need to register our employee service in app module.ts and uh, employee details page dot module so this uh, like uh, that employee client module and employee details page module we need to define in the imports and uh, in provider we need to write down uh, our employee service and after that you can just save it and after saving it it will take some time to compile and it will give you the output yeah, so it compiled successfully and uh, if you are getting uh, like any error or something like that uh, so just uh, you need to go inside uh, employee.service.es because from here only we are uh, putting the response to another uh, like uh, a Spring Boot API so we need to check here only and uh, just go there it's getting refreshed and uh, then it will hit the Spring Boot server and give me the all employee details on the front end let me change the toggle Yeah, so you can see in the console also we are getting that will employee and here also we are getting that will employee on the front end okay so what we have done in the in this entire video first we have created a employee model.ts same as the json format employed a employee name and dep name then we have uh, created a employee service.ts file in that we have created a get all employee function then after that uh, in employee details page.ts file uh, on ng unit uh, and ng on unit we, we call the dis.load all function and this load all function is responsible to get all the employee details and save it in the employee list uh, array array list you can say and uh, then we have also created a toast here which will uh, 
like uh, it will give you the notification like get the employee details look at successfully on the front end and then on the employee details page.html file uh, we have iterated one by one and we have printed here then one main thing is that one like in app.module.ts we need to declare like import uh, the required thing like HTTP client module and employee service and employee details page dot module and after that uh, we are getting this employee details page so I hope uh, you understood uh, all this thing and uh, in next video we will see the add uh, details employee and uh, then uh, how to uh, edit it and how to delete it so please subscribe to my channel friends thank you